Hello everyone, it's Dan, your resident Digimon fan. Welcome back to the channel, and today we finally have some new Digimon card content. Um, it's been a little while since there's been anything going on with the Digimon card game, but finally the UK got the Digimon card game gift box. Um, so we'll be having a look through this in just a second. Um, this was originally meant to come out in December, um, but we just got this through in uh, in the UK on the 21st of January, so I've just received mine today, um, a few days later. So very excited to go through this. Um, there are four different designs that you can get, um, and I appear to have gotten the Gatomon uh, counter design, so I'm very excited to look at that one. And uh, yeah, so let's get down to the desk and have a look at this. Here we go, everyone. First Digimon product to unbox since the 10th of December when I unboxed my EX01 Classic Collection booster box. So very excited to get this. So this is the Digimon card game gift box. It comes with a Wargreymon alternate art. This is the same alternate art that you get in the uh, EX01 Classic Collection booster boxes. So I already have this, not too exciting. You get four packs of classic collection you get this cool digivice and memory counter of which i have the gatomon um so i believe this digivice is meant to hold all of the memory counters but the counters aren't actually purchasable individually which is a bit annoying um so i'll have to figure that one out um and then there's also some memory counters uh in the background um so let's have a look at this so yeah memory gauge sorry my bad so you get an agumon uh graymon metal graymon War Greymon uh, Memory Gauge, you get two of those. You get one of four um, of these memory counters. So I got the Gatomon, there's also a Tentamon, Gomamon, and Agumon. One memory counter case, four boosters, and your one alt art. So yeah, pretty cool uh, to finally get this box. And uh, there are still two cards that I'm missing from this set, which is the Secret Rare Machine Dramon and the Super Rare. Diaboramon, so it'd be cool to get either of those in here or some sort of alt art, but I'm not holding my breath because my luck generally isn't very good with sealed products like this. So let's get this open. Okay, here is the plastic removed from the cardboard box, so you can see everything's held its place. Let's take the lid off. So, first things first, let's take out our four packs. So four packs of classic collection. Haven't opened any more of these since my booster box, so it'd be cool to get something good. There is the War Greymon. Very nice. Here underneath another bit of plastic, more plastic, we have the uh, memory gauges. These are actually really quite nice. Uh, much nicer than I thought they are. They're like foil on the back. If I turn them around this way, you can see how they line up like that. Um, and they're kind of holographic and shiny. Here's the War Greymon and Metal Greymon one. Yeah, these are, these are pretty nice. Um, so like if you have two playmats facing off against each other, it'd be good to have this in the middle. I think that'll look pretty cool. Okay, quite happy with those. Let's put those to the side. And then finally, the main thing that I like about this is this little Digivice counter holder. Let's get this open. Where does the plastic open? Mm, looks like it's there. Got it. There we go. Very nice. So I'm assuming this opens up somehow. Yeah, opens up like that. And yeah, a little bit of um, plastic in there to hold it. So you can pop this out. And there is the Gatomon. Hopefully it focuses. Yeah, very cute. You can see it's um, textured, which is pretty cool. There's the back. And I think this is meant to be used alongside this memory gauge, so it should be about the same size as each of these. So you would move this to wherever you are when you're playing. Very nice. Um, if I put this back in without the plastic, you can see it rattles around. So not particularly uh, complicated product, but it is quite nice. Nice little extra. Let's put this plastic back in just to display it. I think it looks nicer. Put that on there. There's your gas one. Cool. Very good. All right, let's move this plastic out of the way. We've got our little Digivice at the back. So there we go, that's uh, the extra bits. I'm put these over here as well. Let's now open up these four packs and see what we can get. So I've got my trusty scissors. Let's 
get snipping. So yeah, I'm not sure what the pull rates are on these. I've not watched anyone else open one of these um, boxes. It's entirely possible that, you know, I get nothing cool in this, but let's see what we get. So to start off with, we have a Salomon, we have a Caramon, Palmon, Tapiamon, got a Garudamon, Wergarurumon, Anjamon, we have a Garbimon, a Boltmon, and a Magnadramon. So I think the next card is our first rare. So our first rare is a Kawagamon, and our second is Baptism by Fire, which is one of the option cards. So two regular rares in pack number one. Nothing particularly special. So we've got pack number two. Let's see what we have in store. So in pack number two, we have Alekmon, Andromon, Togemon, Metal Tyranimon, Gomamon, Beomon, Demidevimon, Myotismon, Garurumon, and Lilymon. So our first rare is Pyildramon, which is a pretty cool rare. And our second is an alternate art Ogamon. All right, now we're talking. I do not have this card. Very cool. So this Ogamon, it's not um, designed like the old Digibattle cards. It's like it's more unique style, but you've got the classic artwork, which is nice and glossy. And then you've got the textured orange grid background. That's an incredibly nice looking card. Wowzer. Very nice. I don't actually have my sleeves on me, so that's just gonna have to sit down there and I will sleeve it after the fact. Not too shabby for pack number two. Let's see if we can keep this rolling with pack number three. So great to get a card I don't own. Okay, next up we have Metal Mummymon, Tentomon, Andromon, Tapiamon, Megadramon, Devimon, getting lots of um, different ones, which is nice. Ikakumon, Etamon, and Kabutarimon. Uh, uh, with, not our first rare, Gatamon. And now our first rare is Skull Greymon, which is a really cool looking rare. I've always really liked this one. And our second is <laughs> Okie dokie, an alternate art Garurumon. Are you kidding me? What did I do to deserve this? This is incredible. It has such a lovely artwork. I love that they're in this, this same style. Wowzer. I couldn't have anticipated this at all. This is amazing. All right, last pack. If we can go three for four for pulls, that would be actually unprecedented luck. But we shall see. I can't believe that. We'll have another look at those uh, at the end. So here we go. Here's our last pack. Pack number four. Even if this is just two rares, I can't possibly complain. So we have Stingmon, Kurizarimon, XVmon. We have Gardramon, Tentomon, Wizardmon, Metal Mummymon, Metal Etamon, Agumon, and Dino Beamon. So our first rare is a regular Ogumon, so quite different to the uh, alternate art. And our last card is a rare Leomon. So two regular rares. Cool to get these two. They're always going at each other's throat. So get them in one pack. That's pretty awesome. So wow, we. I don't think we could have done any better, if I'm quite honest with you. I would have been very surprised if we did. So our regular rares were Ogamon, Leomon, Skullgreymon, Pyildramon, Coagamon, and Baptism by Fire, all of which I already own. And then we had two amazing pulls, which was the Ogamon and Garurumon, alternate arts, awesome cards. I couldn't have asked for more in this box. Uh, very excited by that. Then of course we had our Gatamon memory counter. So yeah, I really like uh, this little set. The cost is 25 GBP for the gift box. I think in America, it's actually kind of inflated, probably due to um, low stock. And the only places you can buy it in the UK are Smith's Toys, which is where I got this one from. And I believe from Waterstones is where I've heard you can get it. So it's a little bit limited where you can get them from, but uh, if you can get one, I think it probably is worth it, especially if you don't have all the cards in the classic collection. The memory counter is pretty cute. The memory gauge is really nice. 
Um, if you didn't buy a booster box of uh, Classic Collection, it's the only way for you to get the War Graham on Alt Art. So another great addition for this box as well. Would have been nice if it was a different card, but it is what it is. So there we go. That is the Classic Collection gift box. Very happy with that. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll be back with more videos soon.